Hello my digital nomads and in today's video I'm going to be going over an amazing AI generated image search engine called Enterpix and this is happens to be the sponsor for today's video. So let me introduce you Enterpix and why I think it's quite amazing. It's amazing because not only is it an AI generated image search engine that's free, it's also an AI image generator, text to image generator. So that, that that's like a two in one and there's no credit based system. There's no uh, free trial, not, none of these hoops to jump through. You just go to the website and you either search for what you like or you search for what you want to generate. So let me show you how it works real quick. So right here, this is the home page, and you can go into context or you can go to prompt. And if you want to go to context, it is context search is a text to image neutral search engine that takes into account the context of an image. And then you got the prompt, which is a prompt search is a keyword based search engine that recommends images with prompts that match all of your search keywords. Okay, so this is more of a keyword and this is more of a context. All right, so let's try uh, the example they have right here is a detailed anime illustration of a mansion in GB style. Okay, uh, I'm going to do something like uh, an AI artist uh, robot draw drawing an image all right and i'm just gonna put that in context i'm gonna click on search okay and what it's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna search for what other people have generated within its database this is the search um ai ser image search function okay so if i scroll down uh you, you can see really interesting results all right all about ai and drawing very very interesting very oh i like i really like this one oh that's really that's really nice uh i might use that and you know you can see very very creative drawings now let's say there's something you don't like let's say you you don't like what they have in the search engine well that's fine that's okay too you can use the second function of enter picks and simply click on generate so now you can just generate uh, okay, you would have to log in. Let me uh, let me go ahead and, and sign up and log in real quick. Okay, so I sign up. I'm going to click on generate. And I can pick the image resolution here. I'm just going to leave on default. And I'm just going to click on generate. And see what comes up. So the great thing about this as well is Enterpix is a web-based tool, so you don't need to risk downloading any questionable software. Um, and you can use it on you know, a mobile device or pretty much anything with a uh, internet connection and a web browser. So that, that, that's the cool thing about it. All right, so this is what comes up. AI artist drawing an image. And it has people drawing an image, but it doesn't, you know, the, doesn't quite match the criteria. So maybe I might, you know, go with the uh, robot. Right. Robot drawing an image. And then click on generate and then try again. Okay. So let's see how Enterpix does. And so far, it, it's cool. It gives you an estimated waiting time of 20 seconds. So you know roughly what to expect. And 20 seconds is quite quick. If you're curious, I've tried lots of other tools and it can take, you know, maybe half an hour. All right. And yeah, this is better. <laughs> this is, this is a lot better. So you have, you know, different, um, you know, robots, different drawings, different robots that you can, you can use, but I, I actually prefer the, the one within the search engine. So I'm going to use that. All right. And let me go to enter picks. So I go back to here and let me just go back to this one. So the first one we did was context. The next one let's do with, let's go with prompt. Let's see, robot image. Okay. And click on search and see what you get there. Okay. Give it a moment. It doesn't have anything yet. All right. Let's go with AI robot so prompt prompt might be a little bit too specific 
but context, I, I recommend using context if you're trying to explore a concept. AI robot drawing and image. Okay, and let's go ahead and search for that one. And you can see, yeah, much better results. All right, very, very, very neat results. I really, really like what, what comes out of here. Uh, you can see these are amazing, <laughs> amazing concepts. All right, so, so far you can see uh, how easy it is to use Enterpix. Now let me go over a uh, possible, I guess, use case of using Enterpix. All right, and the first one that I found that is very useful is basically doing freelance work. So if you go to your Fiverr and you type in um, illustration, okay, and just enter, uh, you can see at at the most basic level, let's say um, this is top rated, top rated. Okay, let's go with level two. All right, level two. You're looking at ten dollars. Let me see. Ten anywhere between ten to forty-five. You know, forty-five dollars for an illustration. All right. And if you keep going down, what does ten dollars get you? Let's just make it. Let's go check. What does ten dollars get you? All right. So for an illustration. Basic illustration work, one simple editing task. It's not even a, it's not even an illustration. It's just editing task. Standard illustrator work. All right. So in order to get any kind of like illustration, a standard illustration is thirty-five dollars. Right, thirty-five to forty-five dollars. Now, if you were to go ahead and you know charge less than that, and you to do basic illustration work. Um, you know, maybe you can use this to explore different concepts. I'm not really sure about the, you know, the commercial commercial usage of this, right? You might have to explore that. But, you know, if if you are allowed to use this commercially, then I can easily see, you know, you can, uh, you know, a person doing illustration work that uh, can rival some some of these freelancers. Okay, I'm not saying all, but you know some of these freelancers you can definitely uh, pos possibly hmm, use these this as a illustration, or at the very least, if you if you're if it's not commercially viable or you run into some kind of rights, you can save yourself forty five bucks right there. Right. Uh, so that's the that's one one way you can do it. The second way is if you want to explore a concept. Right, you you want to explore a brand or an image concept, and you, you're not exactly sure, um, you know, how to turn your your text into an image. Then this is a great tool for that. You know, let's say you want to you want to you know make a logo about a cat dog or something like that, and you're not sure, you know, what what that's going to look like. Then you can just click, just type it in cat dog, click search, and see you know what comes up. And then these are different images. That, that you know maybe this is a cat dog maybe this is a cat dog this could be a cat dog uh, this could be a cat dog you know this could be a cat and a dog see, you see this is used a basically visual exploration tool this is you know the, the the literal sense of cat and dog so you get the idea you have lots of you know oh, this kind of looks kind of funky <laughs> uh, lots of different you know, this looks like a cat and a dog combination this looks pretty cool right so you can use it as a, a visual explorer, a concept explorer. Um, these, are, these are things that are quite useful. And then the last thing you can do is something that uh, many of you are interested in, especially myself. My whole channel is, is, is kind of based on off of this. I love to use, uh, see what I can do with AI tools. And the last one is to create videos. Right? So if you combine it with this tool, Murph AI, you can definitely, definitely create um, a, a video and I have uh, a full tutorial on this and my uh, I'll leave a link in the des description below so you can go ahead and check that out but if you were to go to a uh, quotes quotes video and you know type in concepts and generate generate art based off these quotes you can then add the text-to-speech voiceover and combine the two and make a video all right so 
ask, you know, yeah, I, I know I understand people are like, oh, well, why don't you use a free text-to-speech software? And I'll tell you why. Number one, those text-to-speech software, it, it's it's not that great. It sounds really bad. It sounds really boring. It sounds fake. It sounds robotic. And it's not engaging. The second thing is you would have to type in line by line and then merge all the audio together. And that would take a lot of time. With Murph AI, you just you can plunk, plunk in uh, – a thousand, I believe a thousand or a thousand five hundred words at one time and get one audio instantly rendered and then just add it to the images and you, you don't have to do much, much work after that. So that that's why I prefer Murph AI because it's high quality text to speech as well as um, large text rendering. That's the key. That, that's the key thing. Those are the two key points. If you use text to speech as much as I do, you know the second point is a pain in the neck when they have artificial restrictions of one sentence or five sentences. It, it's it's a pain in the neck. Okay, so you know, Enterpix is an amazing tool. Uh, you you can use it to visual explore your concepts, ideas. You can use it to possibly uh, you know give ideas on on freelance sites. And finally, you can combine it with other AI tools that uh, have text to speech, and you can create a video. So, the, um, and there's no credit system. There's no. There's not much of a wait time. And there's nothing to download. So, you know, you have nothing to lose. I highly recommend anyone who uh, wants to explore some kind of concept visually, or whether it's a project or anything like that, go ahead and try it out. All right, nothing to lose. All right. So, if you found this video helpful, could you please hit the like button? It was. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.